We're gonna add silica to the small beaker. We're estimating how much to use. The silica dust is very bad to breathe, so we're using this in the hood. Yeah, you can see very fine dust. So, yeah, I think that's sufficient. So we'll go with that amount. We're now going to add the solvent. In this case, it's 80% hexane, 20% ethyl acetate. And we need to add enough so that all the silica will get wet and a little bit of solvent left on top, but not a vast excess of solvent. So. All right, so maybe about 10 more milliliters. All right, that might be enough. Yeah. Okay, so this is what's called a slurry. You can see that the silica moves, but it's kind of slushy. And We're going to use sawed-off pipette technology. So this is a normal plastic pipette, clean, brand new from the box. All right, we're going to cut off the pipette so that it has a wider opening. Right about there. Okay, so that's how it should look. So here we have a column. At the base of the column, there's a cotton plug that will keep the silica in the column while allowing solvent to go through. This looks pretty good, yeah. So it, it's certainly slushy. It's not overly fluid. You can pull up silica in your pipette and you can deliver silica with some solvent as well. All right, so into the top that goes. All right, so that you can see the possibility of trapping air there. So a little more fluid, a little more fluidity will help. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay. Yeah, you're going to fill it up to about here. Here's a close-up. We've got solvent on the top, nice smooth silica, all the way down to the bottom. That's the way it should look. Okay, that's good. So here we have about 20 of the baby tubes. These are 75 millimeters tall. And that's the best size for collecting fractions is what we're going to do. And Morgan's demonstrating how you could have the drips go into one tube and then this, shift it to the next tube. Yeah, maybe we'll have to. Before we load, we're going to drain the solvent so there isn't any solvent on top of the silica. But you have to have your fraction tubes ready before we load. This is 300 microliters of sample loaded on top of the column and we're about to drain it into the actual silica. Okay, that's it. All right, so the sample's now in the silica. Gently add solvent on top. Yeah, like spray it on the slowly around the edges. Yeah, just a few drops is all we need. Get the tip of the pipette down low. Okay. Yeah, okay. So add your drops. Add a few more drops there now, Reese. Just a couple. All right. Okay, so let's Drain that into the silica now. That looks great. Okay. So in theory, this should be making it sort of a clean layer on top. The first top millimeter of silica will now be clean because your molecules have been pushed in. Okay. So All right. So repeat that.
Okay, so now you should be able to load a bigger solvent on the top and you start collecting fractions seriously. Yeah, because you said the first one. The first one won't have anything in it. So, so the first one could be a big fraction. Like, I mean, most of the test tubes. It could be half a test tube's oh. worth, yeah. Sure. Okay. That would be a reasonable thing to start with. Okay. Okay. more solvent. So we're no longer trying to get it to go okay, beach so sand dry. We're trying to say it never gets close to that. Yeah. There's always a nice layer of solvent on top. No danger now of disturbing the sample. It's, it's already okay. an inch into the column, so no danger of disturbing it. So this is now collecting fraction number one, big fraction at the bottom. It's a nice flow rate. So you can see drip, 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 drip. So we probably have about one and a half mils per minute. That's a good flow rate. So now we're collecting fractions. The idea is to get about a milliliter to come out of the column and then switch to the next test tube and collect another milliliter. Yeah, the yeah. molecules of interest will come out in a particular fraction or maybe a few fractions. This is how you separate molecules on the column. Reasonable sized fraction there and we're collecting the second serious fraction, the third total fraction. After running my column or even during the running of the column, I'm collecting many fractions and I want to be able to do a quick screen. Is there anything in any of these tubes of interest? I can do this with one plate, one micro cap. On the plate I put numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way up to 15. Here we go. I'm going to use one micro cap, fraction number one, get a little bit in the micro cap, put a spot for fraction number one, Expel the remaining contents. I'm getting rid of the remaining contents. Now I'm going to two. The amount of cross-contamination I'll get with this is minuscule. There's a spot for fraction two. Empty the contents. Fraction for spot or spot for fraction number three is next. So you can see I can do many spots in a minute. Size of the spots, not important. I'm just seeing is there anything in there? I am using the bulb to help me here. The bulb has a hole. If I push, cover the hole and push, if I cover the hole and push, I'll get rid of everything in the pipette. So I've spotted fractions 1 through 13 on my plate here. If my molecule is UV active, all I need to do is look at this in the UV light and see is there anything in any of these tubes of interest. This is the plate on which I spotted 13 fractions. I will now stain the plate and hope that I get useful information. All right, so this is great. So this is great. I can see that certain fractions have material that's worth investigating. Fractions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 are useless, but 9, 10, 11 have something of interest, and looks like 13 also has something of interest. So the fractions of interest are worth running on a real TLC plate that I developed to see what molecules these actually are. Here I have my 
plate for staining I'm using the spray bottle it's in the box it's got paper towels three or four layers thick on the bottom I spray until the plate is saturated and then I heat on the on the hot plate here I have a column that I need to empty now it's used it's, it's served its purpose the valve is open. I have a rubber bulb from T2. I have a beaker to collect the silica waste. I push it out. There we go. Need some residual cleanup, but most of the silica is in the beaker.